Station to the International Space Station. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you to NASA today. The shuttle's chief purpose over the next several years will be to help finish assembly of the International Space Station. In 2010, the space shuttle, after nearly 30 years of duty, will be retired from service. Our second goal is to develop and test a new spacecraft, the crew exploration vehicle, by 2008 and to conduct the first manned mission no later than 2014. The crew exploration vehicle will be capable of ferrying astronauts and scientists to the space station after the shuttle is retired. But the main purpose of this spacecraft will be to carry astronauts beyond our orbit to other worlds. In vision for future exploration, we will build new ships to carry man forward. Our third goal is to return to the moon by 2020 as the launching point for missions beyond. Beginning no later than 2008, we will send a series of robotic missions to the lunar surface to research and prepare for future human exploration. Using the crew exploration vehicle, we will undertake extended human missions to the moon as early as 2015, with the goal of living and working there for increasingly extended periods of time. And they have served us well. The space shuttle has flown more than 100 missions. It has been used. With the experience and knowledge gained on the moon, we will then be ready to take the next steps of space exploration, human missions to Mars, and to worlds beyond. <laughs> Using existing programs and personnel, we'll make steady progress. We'll invite other nations to share the challenges and opportunities of this new era of discovery. The vision I outlined today is a journey, not a race. Good afternoon. This afternoon, we got a mandate. And we got a support for a set of specific objectives that very clearly identifies exploration and discovery as a central objective of what this agency is all about. It has always been so. In these 45 years of this agency, certainly that has been what an awful lot of that mandate's been about. But to have it emphasized specifically as a reason in and of itself for these purposes is the important dimension of what this policy is all about. Uh, the existing program, while that is an increase, it also is a, a more significant one on a net basis as a consequence of uh, reorientation of various programs. For example, again, the idea of biological and physical research will be a very 